frustrating after the effort you guys put forth to, to not come away with this one? Um, it was a little frustrating. Um, we just got to come back next week and finish the season off strong. You know, we still got um, Purview and LSU coming ahead, so we just got to finish the season off strong. How difficult was it to go against that that up tempo, and, and how tiring was it getting towards the end of this of the drafts? Um, they came out the first half. They was they was firing. Um, I feel like we adjusted well the second half. Uh, we prepared. I feel like um, and we prepared pretty well for it. It caught us by surprise, um, but for the most part, I feel like we did a good job at hunkering down on it. You guys were able to get some stops in the red zone, though, and even though they were moving up and down the field. I guess what changed in the red zone that you guys were able to kind of hold up? Um, I feel like Coach made good calls. We, we was able to just execute the plays, um, settle down, and hunker down in the red zone. Uh, I feel like we were a pretty good red zone team. And when teams get down there, it's, it's not easy for them to get a. Isaiah, can you talk about getting off to the slow start and getting back in the ball game, but just not being able to find a way to finish? Um, uh, defense, we gave up too many yards early. Um, in big games like this, you can't expect to make little mistakes like that and then prepare to, you know, come up with the win. But I feel like as a team, we, we gave it our all. We showed great effort, great heart. Um, we just got to finish the season out strong. What did you guys change at halftime? Because, you know, it was like you flipped a switch. Um, it really wasn't too many changes. Um, I feel like as a team, we just we just homed in and we gave it our all. And that's what happens when you get the best team. Like, that's the best us. And that's what happens. Hey, Tony, sometimes they say the ball bounces kind of funny the wrong way. You know, you guys had a couple chances to get fumbles and you almost got that interception. You know, how, how tough was it not to get those turnovers? Uh, turnovers win games. Um, they had, Ole Miss had two um, major turnovers at the end of the game to seal the deal. But uh, as a defense, we, we, we just stressed again turnovers. And we had a few, but it was critical ones that we should have got. And those are the ones that you need the most. Oh, yeah. Um, we could have tackled a little better than we did. I feel like we did a better job of that in the second half, um, making sure we get the ball carried down. And, yeah. What was the energy like on the sideline after that safety following the goal line stand? Um, we knew as a defense that we was gonna have to get a stop. So that's what really went through our head. Like we were just backing up the uh, office, and we, I think we was able to do that. In the second half, did you sense that they were going a little bit slower, trying to go a little bit slower? Or, yeah. Uh, did that, how much did that help in, in trying to get yourself set and back in the game? Um, we knew they was going to still try to like, push the guys on the, on the tempo, but I feel like them taking as many plays as they did, and we took the same amount of plays, and we were just able to get settled more, um, even though they was going a little slower than what they were in the first half. But I feel like we were still able to get settled more. When it comes to the chunk plays that they got, how much of it in your mind was what they did to execute and how much of it was just mistakes that you guys made? Um, they're a good team. They got good receivers and good backs. Um, but I feel like we didn't execute to our top like performance. And if we would have executed, we probably would have had less chunk plays or less explosive plays that they did. When the te- when a team runs as fast as they do, does it how challenging does it become to line up and, and just be in the right spot? Uh, you just got to get ready, um, make a play. You can't celebrate. You just got to get back, find your man, especially like as a DB, you got to find your man, find the coverage, look at the plays. It, it's difficult. Um, you're not allowed to sub as you would, like with the big boys. And, like the play call to get limited a little bit. But besides that, I mean, I feel like in the second half we did a better job. How does this game change what you might consider is uh, a successful season or what your goals might be at the end of the season? Um, we just, like I said earlier, we just got to finish the season out strong, and whatever happens at the end of the season, we'll just prepare for that. Some disappointment that that uh, SEC title game might be out of the picture? Um, uh, yeah, it's a little disappointment, but besides that, like, we just got to play. Coach Fisher said he just he didn't think the team played with enough poise. I guess, do you feel the same way? And if so, why do you think that is? Um, I think a little bit. Um, just like, in, like I said in the beginning, like they came out rowdy, you know, fast tempo. Offense wasn't able to move the ball a little bit. Um, they they went up what 
15-0, then, like, we just had to answer. And we wasn't able to answer like we should have. So. Was that 13 Y'all feel pretty good, considering especially how good you were playing on defense at that point? Yeah, yeah. I feel like the tempo of the game switched, and it was in our favor. Um, but like I said, them, them two major picks at the end of the game did it. When you combine like, the, um, the safety in the second quarter and then back-to-back -back drives in the fourth quarter, the two interceptions, you know, how did that kind of change the game for you guys? Um, we, we, the first pick put us in a tough situation. Um, they was able to punch it in. Then the pick six, I feel like that just did it. Um, but we still played hard to the end. Like, we just kept telling each other, like, just do it for each other, finish the game strong. What, what do you think of Matt Corral, their quarterback? What was it like just going up against him? I know that was my first time going against him. Um, uh, he's, a, he's a good quarterback, um, good athlete. I respect him. All right. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Um, it was all us. Um, we made mistakes, uh, just little detail stuff that, you know, that we try to um, alliterate um, all during the week, and we messed that up on us, on ourselves. You know, we could have. It was plenty of opportunities that you know we could have went out there and finished drives and get get it going, but you know, uh, it didn't go that way. Jimbo said that he did, didn't think you guys played with enough poise. I guess would you agree? And, and um, yeah, for sure. I feel like we could have played better, um, just execute better, you know, stay on our blocks longer, you know, just different look, different stuff, you know, we need to uh, take care of. And I feel like we do. Um, we didn't do that, and we played a good team. When you play good teams like that, you know that happens. So um, kudos to them, you know, uh, great win for them. And um, But we need um, to get focused, you know, we got prayer view next week. A number one team in the SWAC, so you know it's still going to be a, a good game. Kim, were you surprised by kind of the slow start you guys got off to tonight? Yeah, I was. Um, I thought you know we was going to come out you know on poise and everything, but hey, that happens. You know, it happens to every team. But uh, you know, we came second half, you know, with a little more energy, a little more you know enthusiasm. Um, just. I just wish, you know, we played better that first half, probably a different ball game. When you, got, when you guys got it cut it to 15 to 13, what was the vibe when you got the ball back? I mean, just go down there and score, you know, take it play by play, you know, do our job. How does uh, the last day kind of affect the evaluation of y'all's goals and, and what you want to see from the season? Uh, we still got um, two more games, you know, we can finish out, you know, getting a good bowl game. So, you know, this, you know, was a setback, but, you know, we still got goals in front of us. Can you know how frustrating was it to fall behind, fight your way back in and then not be able to finish? Uh, it's tough, but, hey, it's, it's a part of the game. It's part of life. So, you know, you lick your wounds and keep going. You consider yourselves not lucky at halftime, but as, as bad as it went, you were only down two scores? Yeah, um, it couldn't get any worse. And they played their best, and it was only 15-0. So, I mean, if we even, you know, play halfway good that first half, it'd be a different outcome. But, you know, I'm not taking nothing from them. They played a good game. And um, congrats to them. Kenyon, how good was your defensive front? How physical were it the past uh, I mean, they was physical, but, you know, it was just mental mistakes that we messed up on. We could have done a lot. What was the energy like on the sidelines during that targeting on DeMond in the third quarter? Just um, trying to make sure he's OK. First off, and um, you know, and go finish the drive. You know, go finish for him. A couple more. I know this is not something that applies to you, obviously, because you play up front. But there's a few drop passes. It's obviously difficult for the offense. How does that affect your guys' psyche when there's a play there and the ball's dropped, and, and obviously you don't know, guys don't convert? Um, I mean, I can't control that. Uh, all I all I need to do is you know block, do what I need to do. Uh, you know, my quarterback to get the ball to him. And um, I just encourage him, you know, keep going, keep pushing. You know, we got it next time. But, you know, we got to – just got to pick it up as a as a unit offense. A-Chain had only nine yards of carry at one point in the game. I know. Are you surprised you didn't keep going to him more? Um, that's not my decision. Just I I play ball. You know, he had, he had a great game. And um, he did a lot for us.
Coach Fisher say anything at halftime that kind of woke you guys up or anybody else? I mean, uh, we we seen what we did, and we seen, um, you know, we we put ourselves in that hole. Uh, so, you know, it was just us encouraging each other, you know, to keep going. The play where they got the safety, I guess just how frustrating was that? How as critical was that at the end? Yeah, I mean, it, it was frustrating, but yeah, it was very critical. Um, put them up 15-0, and um, you know, when we scored, we didn't get the the two-point conversion, so you know, they, they kind of set us back a little bit. All right. Thank y'all. God bless.